Hi, I'm Bixing Wu, a CFD engineer from Philadelphia Mission Solutions. I would like to introduce to you the CFD methodology used to solve integration of mixing heat transfer and biochemical reaction kinetics in anaerobic methane fermentation, which has been published in Biotechnology and Bioengineering. Here we are at Oregon Dairy Farm, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We are going to show you how to convert cow's manure to biomethane after anaerobic digestion. This is the digestion tank with 150,000 gallons liquid below. And another 150,000 gallons liquid below is processing at the plug flow digestion completely below the ground. The hydraulic retention time is 20 days. Here are heat exchangers used to maintain close to the digestion temperature. This lagoon storage has the capacity to hold 4 million gallons liquid manure and it takes about 8 months before the liquid manure taken out to the field. Here we are in Dairy Township Municipal Authority, Hershey, Pennsylvania. The digester behind me used to treat sludge, which consists of waste sludge from biological system, primarily sludge from waste water, and industrial sludge, for example, from Hershey Chocolate Company. Here is the pumping room in the lower section of the digestion. Inside this room, we can find the mixing, heating, inferent, and afferent pipes. gas conditioning system used to clean our gas through removal of moisture and sulfides. After the cleaning of biogas, one third of biogas goes to the boiler room to produce heat for maintaining the digestion temperature. And two thirds of biogas goes to the diesel engine to generate electricity for the facility inside this wastewater treatment plant.
the integrated model includes physical process and the biological process. In a physical process, it covers mixing and heat transfer. In a biological process, it covers hydrolysis, acetogenesis, acetogenesis, and methanogenesis. In the CFD simulation, each computational cell represents an individual bioreactor. Then mixing and heat transfer are solved simultaneously at each cell. This slide shows velocity vectors and contours of temperature. Based on the converged flow field, the local resident time can be achieved by solving a scalar transport equation. Once obtaining temperature and local resident time, the transient biological process can be solved. The results include four types of bacteria, eight biological parameters, and eight ionic compounds. In summary, the CFD simulation platform is generic and can be used to simulate biohydrogen fermentation and other bioenergy resources. Thank you for your time. For further information on this topic, please refer to the paper published in Biotechnology and Bioengineering.